This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'm going to look at the spectrochemical series. So I'll start with an explanation of the spectrochemical series and then I'll describe and explain the effect of changing the ligand on the color of a complex ion. So let's start by looking at the spectrochemical series. The spectrochemical series below arranges ligands in order of their ability to split d orbitals in an octahedral complex ion. The higher up in the series, the greater the splitting of the d orbitals, therefore the greatest energy difference between the two sets of d orbitals. In this spectrochemical series, carbon monoxide produces the greatest splitting of the d orbitals and produces the greatest energy difference between the two sets of d orbitals. The iodide ion produces the least splitting of the d orbitals and therefore the least energy difference between the two sets of d orbitals. Next we look at the effect of changing the ligand on the color of the complex ion. On the left here we have the hexa aqua copper 2 ion which forms this light blue color in solution. On the right we have the tetra amino di aqua copper 2 ion which forms this dark blue or violet color in solution. The difference between these two complex ions is that these four water molecules have been replaced with four ammonia molecules. And as you can see, by changing the ligand, the color of the solution has also changed. So now we'll have a look at the reason for this color change. Ammonia, NH3, produces the greatest splitting of the d orbitals because it's higher up in the spectrochemical series than water. Therefore, it produces the greatest difference in energy between the two sets of d orbitals. And because ammonia produces the greatest splitting of the d orbitals, more energy is absorbed by the electron transitions from the lower to upper d orbitals. Therefore, the wavelength of light absorbed decreases. As energy increases, the wavelength of light decreases. Let's use a color wheel to compare the wavelengths of light being absorbed and transmitted by each complex ion. So let's start with the complex ion on the left. Red orange light is absorbed by the hexa aqua copper 2 ion and blue green light is transmitted. Next the complex ion on the right. Yellow light is absorbed by the tetra amino di aqua copper 2 ion and blue violet light is transmitted. So this shows how changing the ligand affects the color of a complex ion. We can use the spectrochemical series to determine the amount of splitting of the d orbitals when the ligand bonds to the central metal ion. In this example, by changing the ligand from water to ammonia, we increase the splitting of the d orbitals. That means that the wavelength of light that was absorbed decreased. So that's all from this video and don't forget if you look in the video description you'll find the link to a practice worksheet. If you found this video useful then you can click the like button and to receive regular updates from my channel you can subscribe.